The athletes within the Olympics have one objective, and that is to win. And I believe that in our society, actually, that perhaps is a dangerous comparison. I don't believe that our children constantly need to feel that they are competing. However, I believe there is one element within the Olympics that has an enormous lesson for us all. When you see the Olympians compete, we see at the results that certain of them have got the letters PB by their name. It stands for personal best, and it tells us that these athletes have actually achieved the best that they have ever achieved. I think that a husband Ian, and indeed in any school, the role of education is to try and inspire and enthuse students that they can get that letters PB. They can achieve their personal best. And our job is to be able to ensure that they can be the very best that they can be. The best investment that a person, that a parent can do is to ensure that the child gets the best education. And, it's, and, it go, and, and, they, and, they, and they go to a school where they can achieve that. Rabbi Scheinfeld was an amazing man. Before the war, he was bringing children to this country to help people. After the war, he brought those who survived in Poland and brought them to England and so they, 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 they could catch up with their education and, um, and uh, he cared, he cared for society, he cared that the fact that he wanted to have a Jewish school with, um, with a good outlook and we should never forget that man. My name is David Meyer and I'm the executive head teacher of Hasman Ian. Uh, the way that the school works is that we have a head of the boys' school and a head of the girls' school, and then I have overall responsibility of both schools. I think that in some ways it is a, a tremendous onus and a responsibility to be leading a school like Husband Inn. However, on the other hand, it is an enormous privilege, day in, day out, to see the most wonderful children walking into this school, and, and to seeing us being able to turn them into adults giving them a future, giving them the ability to aspire and to achieve and to realise their dreams is, is the most delightful responsibility uh, and one that I genuinely enjoy. Uh, ensuring the success of my responsibilities, however, is, is far beyond my abilities alone. And I'm very, very fortunate to have a team of outstanding professionals, from the heads of school to the assistant head teachers to everybody who works in the school. They're dedicated to the cause and beliefs of Husband Ian, and I believe it's as a result of their inspirational work that we have students today, and both the boys and the girls' school, that we can be so proud of. I, I think rather than looking at students in, just in terms of the exam grades that they're capable of achieving, we now look at the whole child. I think the exam grades have always been good, they continue to be very good. The bigger question is, what do we want the students to be when they're 30? How do we want them to have grown? And I think the emphasis now really is on giving them the kind of education that we ourselves, the executive leadership team, would have wanted ourselves. So that is looking at the child holistically, looking at the kind of enrichment subjects that they want to be involved in, um, and also trying to give them some experience in terms of visiting speakers and informal education that really allows them, allows them to grow as human beings. It's not an exam factory. We want students to grow as people, to become responsible leaders who give back to the community and actually look after each other because actually the values of Hasmini go far beyond just making money or getting decent exam grades. It really all is about being a decent person and what I believe is called midos. It's a word that's on all our lips here whether we're Jewish or not. I want every girl to be able to leave this school fully equipped to deal with the world at any stage in her future life. I want her to be um, 
literate and qualified Kodesh and Chol on an equal level. I think we have some exceptional students here and we should be demanding the same academic rigour across all subjects. I want them to understand that um, they have a commitment to the community that they're going to live in wherever that may be and that's something we work to nurture here and there's nothing more exciting than seeing a graduating class and know that you have prepared them in such a way together with such a fantastic staff that they are ready to step out into the world and face any challenge that comes their way. If I was in the Olympics I'd enter into athletics it was probably for the, for the more long distance running. Well, just as in a race, you have to pace yourself. You don't go off zooming at the front at the beginning. You don't start off slow. So too with education, you have to work hard, take each step by step, each target, one at a time, each struggle by struggle, each exam by exam. Probably the long jump. Because it's all about the build up. If you haven't got the right build up, you can't get the jump very well, uh, which is like education, if you don't build up very well, you're not going to get there in the end. Hasmanian will give me the build up that I need. Uh, I would choose to enter shooting, because a lot, a lot can be learned from this sport, because anyone can be handed a rifle, anyone can have the tools, but it takes practice and determination to hit the bullseye. My name is Yeshua Hartman, and uh, I'm the head of the base, which is a three-year program of the school. It's uh, role is to introduce the centrality of Torah in these boys' lives and uh, preparing them for yeshiva and like Rabbi Meyer says, not only for yeshiva but preparing them for life. The base started by Rabbi Meyer about nine years ago and uh, the purpose of it was to give, give them the opportunity to have a time of learning with Chavrusa, uh, preparing a shir, a mini kind of schedule that they have in yeshivas. So then once they'll go to yeshiva they'll be a little bit prepared for it and they won't have to be any way inferior or less prepared than their American peers. It's a happy school and I think people respect each other as human beings, they want the best out of each other and I think rather than just focusing on exam results, it really is about us wanting to have interesting and exciting experience. We have ideas and a week later they happen. We talked about an enrichment curriculum where teachers would teach subjects that they wanted to teach for the love of the subject alone. And then a year later it happened and now it's been going on in the school for a long time. We have Mandarin and Spanish and organic gardening, Krav Maga and all these wonderful things and you think, wow, you know, I talked to this about to my friends outside the school and they say, can I come? Enrichment will be nothing without the actual academic qualifications which are really the currency that uh, universities and employers speak but they also want the enrichment, the students want it and indeed for future reference um, employers and universities will want enrichment as well because they want that more whole individual. The students can choose six from about 30, more than 30 uh, different subjects the enrichment activities that we run at Hasmonean, I would say, are the jewel in our crown. Informal education is critical, and we run Shabbat Anim and a whole range of informal education uh, activities. Uh, the Poland trip that um, is incredibly successful. Of all my memories in Hasmonean, probably the strongest is of, of, of the Poland trip, and I, d I didn't, I, I didn't have the privilege of being. A, a part of that trip until I've been at the school for a number of years actually. I was the only non-Jewish person on that trip and I think that entire immersion within that experience was something I will, I will never forget for the rest of my life. To see the boys walking away from those graves arm in arm singing songs um, was something that is, is indescribable unless you've actually been there. To be dancing around with the boys in the synagogue I, I remember uh, it was Yehuda Fink, I think, who held out his hand to me after having been through really quite a traumatic day, all of us, and we danced in the synagogue together. And um, yeah, that was a, a very special moment to be welcomed in, in, into that group as, in a sense, an outsider in terms of, of cultural experience, but to know that, in a sense, we were all in it together. The trip is, it's an emotional roller coaster. there's great sadness, but out of that sadness comes a real strength of spirit, and I know that Everybody comes home from that trip a different person. And for me, that uh, was probably the biggest lesson I've ever had about this school. I never really understood 
just how close those events are. They're not in the past, they're on the shoulders of everybody within this school. If I was in the Olympics, I'd choose to do archery. Well, I think archery is really just about hitting your target. And the whole point of the school system is to be able to reach your targets uh, and succeed. I feel that Hasmonean is already allowing me to uh, achieve my targets. I would probably choose cycling, a big fan of cycling. You need stamina, you need to stay strong, you need to uh, pace yourself. So sometimes in work, you have to be able to have uh, the self-control to just sit down and work and um, not waste time. And uh, cycling as well, you have to have the right, you have to have the right mindset, you have to be focused. If I was in the Olympics, I would choose swimming because with swimming it's about refining the finer details and keep going and putting it all, you work on each fine detail as a start and then you put it all together and hopefully it should end up as one long length which works and moves you fast. I've been here for seven years now and I've honestly loved every single second of it. I, um, HASMO isn't really just an exam centre or somewhere to come every day um, as a chore. It's really like a second home and um, I haven't, I hopefully won't just come out with qualifications. Um, I'm coming out with friends for life and um, a really, really amazing experience. The teachers here really, really care for you and um, they really have your best interests at heart. They're always looking to help um, make you reach your potential and um, that makes the school really, really special. As I leave, I'm going off to SEM and then to university and I feel equally prepared for both. We've been given the torch um, by our teachers and, um, and the legacy of Hasmonean will really continue in us um, throughout our lifetime. And wherever we go, we will always be a Hasmonean girl. Um, we have on our, um, on our jump, we got leavers jumpers at the end of the year. And the phrase on the back is, you can take a girl out of Hasmo, but you can never take the Hasmo out of a girl. Um, I think that's really true. And I know that I will always be a Hasmo girl. Um, even though I've left school. Hasmonean Torch will last a long time because it will always be in our blood and we'll always pass it through through generations and generations. Hasmonean is something that will give me an, an amazing future. Everyone can benefit from the things that Hasmonean has to offer. Um, the Olympic Torch only lasts for two weeks, but the, the Torch of Hasmonean lasts for a lifetime. For the formative years that the boys and girls experience in Hasmonean it's very similar to preparing for a journey. And when you prepare for a journey, if you're allowed one small suitcase of hand luggage, then you're limited as to what you can do in your journey. If you're allowed seven suitcases, and each suitcase is packed full, then the opportunities in your journey are vast. And I feel that every year here in Hasmonean is a suitcase. And the more we can pack in of inspiration, of enthusiasm, then we're setting up these children to go on a long journey, please God, in their lives with seven laden suitcases which will uh, stand and hopefully in very good stead for whatever they encounter in their years to come. You're not only investing in the lives of individuals, you're investing in the future of the Jewish community, whether that's the community in London or somewhere in this country or abroad, because the students that come out of here are phenomenal. And I think if we want a really strong Jewish community, delivering both within and outwards, then this is the school to nurture that. And we can only do that if we can facilitate all the things that are going to create that responsibility. The school is, a, is a, an outstanding school. It has got a very good reputation. And anyone who comes out from the Tasmanian school on the whole, uh, it's somebody who makes further contribution later on. This is how we grow and this is how we develop. And I tell the boys that we, know we always speak they want to do something for Am Yisrael. What's Am Yisrael for us now? Well, there's Jews in Brazil, Jews in America, but the Jew, for us, Am Yisrael is Hasmonean. And we want to do something for Am Yisrael, we start from here. We are very fortunate. We live in a country which is determined to ensure that every child has an education, has a comprehensive school. We get millions of pounds every year to educate our children. However, that money is only sufficient to give the very basic comprehensive education. As a community and as parents, we have a duty to aspire that our children have the very best education possible. And that simply cannot be delivered 
with the kind of funding that we receive from the government. We have an additional amount of money that parents try to deliver and try to donate to the school. However, we need to recognise that 20% of our parent body unfortunately come from homes who are considerably needy. They don't have the funds to be able to support their children's education. And therefore, for us today, we have a critical and urgent need in order to be able to supplement the monies that we get, in order to be able to deliver an outstanding standard of education and ensure that Hasmonean is a centre of excellence. I would say that Hasmonean is a unique charity. It is a unique opportunity for us in the community to be able to support those who are needy, but at the same time to be able to support our children, in able to be able to ensure that we are giving a Torah education to our community. And in fact, what we are trying to do ultimately is to ensure that we invest in our future.